is Rosina. My fiance and I own the Batchy Brew coffee truck and we were able to get some work done on the trailer the past two weeks while the weather was nice. Our original plan was to try to get it done in February, but the weather was just not agreeing with us and being in New England, of course, it just snowed like every other week. So we're kind of just taking everything as it is, but last week we installed the floor and then today we got the serving window in and there's just like a few things that need to be buttoned up on it. But business has been great. Weekends have been insanely busy. We've welcomed some people to our team, which is so awesome. And the group of girls that we are going to be training are fabulous. And it's so nice having people that care about good coffee and wanting to help expand our business. So it's just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for everyone to be trained and ready to go. But we already have people calling us up and contacting us about events. And I think, I'm not 100% positive, but I think things are going to be happening this year as far as events go. And the governor is allowing certain events to happen, of course, with mandated rules. So we're just kind of playing it by ear and we're doing a wedding for a friend in May. I know that for sure. And yeah, so we're kind of just taking it as it is. But I wanted to show you guys what the trailer looks like currently and kind of show you where everything is going to be. So let's just jump right into it. Alrighty guys. So that's what we did today. We cut a hole in our brand new trailer to put the serving window in. So let's just show you that really quick. What's really nice about this window is that it has a screen. It's very similar to the window we have on the coffee truck with the sliding door. So we don't have this like wide open gap. So especially when it gets a little hot out, we can keep the door open and have the screen to protect us from bugs or debris, which is really nice. So I'm just admiring the window. But yeah, um, lettering will probably get done last. So I definitely have to take a picture and kind of plan everything out as far as like what is going on the truck for lettering. So yeah, let's show you the inside. So floor is done. Sorry for the creaky door. We ended up going with a linoleum floor and the coffee truck we have a pergo styled floating floor and there's no glue or anything involved with that but um since the trailer already had a nice flat subfloor we were able to just buy a sheet of nice linoleum so ryan and his friend cut everything out got the glue down and then installed the floor within one day which is really nice um, and it came out really good. I'm really happy with this. And I think it will be a little bit more waterproof because on the coffee truck, you can kind of see where like the cracks are kind of coming up. So it is what it is, but let me just step in. So what we have here is an eight foot by 20 foot trailer. So what's really nice about the trailer is we have all of this space to work with and we don't have seats to worry about. We don't have like a motor, an engine taking up space. It's just all usable space to do coffee trailer things. So I think the plan is, so one of the fridges is gonna go right under the window and this is also gonna act as a countertop. So we'll have, the POS system on top of there and pastries to show because it's kind of hard for us to do on the coffee truck because there's not a lot of space to work with. So that's going to go over there. Down this wall, we're going to have cabinets laid out just like the coffee truck and it's going to be pretty similar. So we got the same colored cabinets, we got the same colored countertop and we also got the same kind of stick-on tile to put onto the back wall which is really nice 
So the only thing that really sucks is that with the trailer company, in between these pieces of wood, there's a huge gap. So we might have to reinstall some new wooden panels. So it is just one flat piece of um, wall because we can't install the stick on tile with this little thing there. Sorry, I'm not really the best at explaining. <laughs> carpenter stuff but over here in the dovetail I believe that's what it's called I don't have Ryan with me to confirm but the sinks so three compartment sink hand washing sink are going to go somewhere over here and then also what's going to be different is that we are going to be keeping our water tanks on the inside so when it's winter time we don't have to worry as much about the tanks and the lines freezing we will do whatever we can to winterize it but instead of the tanks being under like we have on the coffee truck they are under so they're exposed to the elements they freeze really easily so we had to buy a bunch of things to winterize the tanks and the lines on the coffee truck so i hope it's not as extreme for the trailer but it is what it is because we live in new england so so yeah so the back door rolls down because this is supposed to be a car trailer so a whole car can fit into here but what's really nice is that we'll be able to roll our generators right in when we're done for the day or loading up for the day instead of having to load it on the truck that we decide to pull the trailer with and we can move the generators as we need to instead of just leaving them on the bed of the truck and then also I forgot to mention we're getting a second fridge because that's just how busy we've been. So because we're thinking about doing blended drinks in here, we're definitely going to have a second fridge. And then, yeah, it's just it's nice to have all this fridge space because fridges actually don't take as much power as the, for example, espresso machine would. So... That's next. I'm so sorry. I'm out of breath. I'm just like a lot of information to get by. But yeah, guys. So that's it for now. So we're going to install some trim. Not really sure what we're doing with the, rest, with the rest of the walls yet. But that's the gist of what the trailer looks like. So we're super excited. And it's definitely crunch time. We're trying to get this done by hopefully late spring and get it inspected so we can get it on the road. So we've been getting a lot of questions if the coffee truck is for sale. And unfortunately the coffee truck is not for sale because we are going to run the coffee truck as is. And then the trailer is going to be more for events and then for a second location in the near future. So we want to be able to keep as many trucks and trailers as we can and expand as a business. So. I appreciate you guys for following our journey and I think that is it for now. But again, keep posted guys on our social media, Batch of Brew, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. So I will see you guys later.